Hey guys, it's Chris. Um, I am super excited to do this haul review today um, because it's on my new webcam. Super excited. And my new operating system. Um, I was just upgraded from Vista to Windows 7. So anybody knows who um, changes operating systems or upgrades, it's a little at first like oh my god where did all my stuff go what's the deal but anyway um i am doing i tried to do this last night and on my old web, webcam in my old operating system and i actually uploaded this haul review video for this company and when i put it on one of the other administrators from Candles Anonymous was like hysterical because she was like, oh my God, you sound like the Terminator. And I hadn't watched it all the way through. I had just watched part of it. <laughs> so she was, she was so right. When I got to a certain point, it was like, like I was just like, oh my God. She's like, you have like a robot voice. I'm like, okay, um, we're going to, Nix that one and try again. So this is my second try. So I'm super excited with all these new add-ons that I have. Um, first of all, I have to give a shout out to my daughter because she said if I wear her hat today that I had to give her a shout out. So I'm giving her a shout out because I'm wearing her hat. Um, so Chelsea, thank you for the hat. Um, so this is a review of Fire Bling Candles. Now, guys... This has got to be one of my favorite candle companies, um, favorite candle websites, and I'll get a little more into that and let you know, but, and favorite candle ladies. Um, it's run by Cody. And Cody is in our Candles Anonymous group, and she is just an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing woman. Love her to death. She's just so sweet. Uh, girl. She's a girl. I need to call everybody girls, not women. I mean, they're all younger than me. Um, okay, I don't know what's going on with my color here all of a sudden. But whatever. We'll deal with that at another time. Um, as long as it doesn't turn me into a robot, I'm cool. So, what I'm going to start off with is um, she has a new item. Again, of course, I will post everything below, all her information, her Facebook page, her, her web page, um, the sense that I received, all that information will be posted below. Um, and, okay, I love this website. This website is so interactive and so awesome. It's just absolutely amazing. I have prepared a little bit tonight. Um... Normally I take notes, but I didn't have a pen and paper next to me. So what I did is I opened up all the scent descriptions from the website in all different tabs. So I'm going to, if you see me like reading, then that's why, you know, if it looks like I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading scent descriptions because you know, I'm big on scent descriptions, but uh, this is not only a haul video. This is also a review video and it's a review for a very special product that she has not officially come out with yet, but she's testing, and I got to be one of the testers, and I'm still testing. Testing, testing's not done, testing's never done. Um, but anyway, so like I said, her company is Fire, Bring, Fire Bling Candles, and I'm gonna post right here, you will be able to see if this, oops. There we go. www.fireblingcandles.com. My family just came in and they're sneaking. <laughs> You're so funny. Anyway, I got a 10% off your next order coupon code. Now, anyone who knows me knows that if you give me one of these little doohickeys, I will order from you again. This is like crack to me right here, these little thingies. You know, if I get a coupon code, you're good to go. I'm definitely placing another order. So some people say, oh, you know, I don't know, coupon codes, are they cheesy? Are they not? I love them. I don't know who wouldn't love them. I mean, who doesn't want to bargain? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to start off with, she has a new product that she put on her 
website. And it was all packaged nice and neat yesterday when I did the review, but it's not tonight. So we'll just have to deal. But they're called um, five ounce melt bricks or melter bricks. Now these things are huge, guys. You can see here. Let's see. Is it gonna come on? My zoom is so good. Let's go. Come on. Anyway, this is called Paris Twilight. And look at this. This is so cool. Okay, I really want it to. I'm just gonna hold it here until it focuses. If you hear laughter in the background, they're being retards. I'm sorry, that's not a politically correct word, but for my family it is. There we go. Okay, look at this logo. How cool is that? It is so neat. And there's, again, her website, www.fireblingcandles.com. This is in Paris Twilight. And this thing is awesome. I mean, look at this. And what's so cool about this is we always joke because I always say, I have like the biggest melters around and you know the bowls to my melters are like so big that if you're going to give me a little teeny tart to throw in there it's not going to really do me much good um but these things are amazing and this whole thing fills it fills in fits in the bowl of my melter um of course i wouldn't melt the whole thing at once but it does fit in there so and what's really cool is she has these cute little snap-off, you know, instead of the, um, you know, twist it up and, you know, tie it with a, what do you call those things? What are those things called? Twist ties. This thing is so neat. It just clips, and this sucker is not coming off. So your scent is not leaving this bag. So that's awesome. Love these things. Love it. Great idea. Love it. Um... Anyway, this is called Paris Twilight, and I'm going to open this up and pull it out so you, can, you guys can see the size of this. They're making me laugh over there. Okay. Look at it. Okay, now, where did my light go? All of a sudden, it disappeared on me. It'll come back. Anyway, look at this. Hello. Five ounces of wax, guys. Five ounces. It's huge. It's enormous. And it smells awesome. <laughs> so shut up over there. Oh, my light is back. Let there be light. It's back. Shut up. They're laughing at me. I know if you take things out of context from what I'm saying, it sounds so awful. But anyway, this is in Paris Twilight. I'm going to read you the description. It says, an intriguingly romantic scent that captures the essence of an evening in Paris. Top notes include tart cranberries, strawberries, citrus zest, and a splash of white grapefruit. Middle notes include lavender, blueberry, creamy heliotrope, and chamomile. Bottom notes include vanilla sugar, whipped cream, warm amber, and red berries. Now, on her website, and she has such the most beautiful picture of Paris. There's like a bridge, and it's all lit up, and her pictures are just awesome. I love them. Um, it says the color of the candle is red, but I think that's for the, her 20-ounce candles because, obviously, if you look at this, this is purple. It's not red, but oh my God. this is definitely a good citrus scent. If you guys are into citrus scents, but you want something a little more complex, like not just a strawberry or a blueberry, this is definitely a scent for you because this is just amazing. I'm not catching the um, vanilla sugar, and I don't even know what heliotrope is, guys, so... Cody, if you know, you better comment on this and let me know. But all of our, all of my subscribers know what heliotrope is. I could Google it, I suppose. Chelsea, get on that. Chelsea's normally my Google person. She's like, it. she's like, hold please. It's spelled H E L I O. Hold, hold please. Hold please. See, hold please. H E L I O. Yeah. T R O P E. This is amazing. So she's going to give us a little Google on what heliotrope is. Um, but this is just a great fruity, but it's got some floral in it too. But it's a wonderful complex 
fruity, nice fragrance. Um, yes, Chelsea, what is heliotrope? It's a pink purple tint that is a representation of the color of the heliotrope flower. Oh, heliotrope, I guess it's a flower. Okay. So it's a flower. You're I would. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> She's like, you're welcome. So it's a flower. Didn't know. Um, hold, hold that Google there because I'll be asking more questions. Um, anyway, so here again, so I just twisted the bag back up and with my little clippy, Ugh. big clippy, no, no, it's big. Oh. see, it's back, not moving, not going anywhere. Love these clips, Cody. They're awesome. She had asked me yesterday, what do you think of the clips? I'm like, I'm not telling you yet, but they're super, super cool. Love them much better than twist ties. Okay. So next, this is one that. That was a destination scent, by the way. She classifies um, her scents under classic, relaxing, floral, fruity, destination, romantic, food, coffee house, and outdoors. Now, I think that's super cool. I wanted the destination scents, so she gave me three of those and one that she picked. She said I had to try it. Um, even though it has the word daisies in it, she was like, you're going to love it. Um so I said, okay, send me one of those. So it was a four pack, guys. Let's see if I can hold these up. Hold on, one, two, three, this is a lot of wax for one hand, four. Four, I think she charges, I wanna say like $24.95, but don't quote me on it. Um, you'll see them on the website. But with the four pack, you can also get a ring. And I will tell you, before I go into any more sniffing, I'll tell you what the ring deal is on her website. So she has candles. She even does wax warmers now, which is super cool. Um, she has tri-scent jewelry candles, which is like a layered candle, which they're, they're so beautiful. Um, she has the soy melter. She has the big bricks now. Um, but what's really cool is that I'm trying to find, let me see. Okay. Let me just hit the jewelry candles and let me see what comes up. Okay. So for, if you want a candle, we'll just say it's a 20, it's 20 ounces. Um, you can either get for $24.99, a bling ring candle, which is kind of more like a costume jewelry candle a uh, costume costume jewelry candle costume jewelry within the candle um but it says the bling ring candle contains a beautiful fashion jewelry ring these rings contain mixed metals and are silver or gold tone one in every 20 bling rings are worth over 50 bucks so that's cool um i know my mom likes to wear a lot of that costume jewelry stuff because my dad buys her really expensive stuff and she says oh take it back like you know, I'm afraid I'll lose it or whatever. So she just buys, you know, she's really big into costume jewelry. Um, or for $29.99, you can get a natural ring, natural ring candle, which is what I go for. Um, these are the natural gemstones. Um, the natural ring candles contain a ring with natural gemstones in either solid 925 Sterling silver or 925 sterling, sterling plated. So I have my little precious, I call it, on, but I'm not going to show it to you like really close right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till the end because that was the cool prize. Um, $34.99 is the premium ring candles, which is a ring that is solid 925 sterling silver or rhodium plated over 925 sterling silver. Um, oh Lord, she's added stuff. Okay. So for $34.99, you can get the premium earring candle, which contains a pair of 925 sterling earrings that are rhodium plated. So they never tarnish, which I was going to say that about the last thing, rhodium plated over sterling silver. Sterling silver can tar, well, does tarnish. Um, but when you put rhodium over it, it doesn't tarnish, so that's really cool. Um, so you can get earrings if you choose to get earrings. Um, 
I don't wear earrings because why well, wear earrings? But I have my ears stretched, so I don't wear regular earrings. So that wouldn't be an option for me. But I know a lot of people love that. And then she also has for thirty four ninety nine a premium pendant candle, and that contains a nine two five sterling silver pendant and chain that is rhodium plated, so it will never tarnish. Now, I received from another order that I had placed with her a long time ago. Um, she had put this on her website, and I don't know if you can catch it. But this is a Labradite pendant in sterling silver, and I just absolutely adore it. Um, I'm big into the stones and what they mean and how, you know, their metaphysical properties and how they're supposed to help you with certain things or whatever. So this, I never take this thing off. I love it. It's just awesome. I don't know if you can catch, see all the different colors it turns and everything. It's really, really, really cool. Um, and the rings that you pick, you can pick your own size. So that's super cool. So you know you're not getting, you know, with some of the other companies, they throw in a ring, but you, you know, you get it and you're like, oh yeah, this is like 10 sizes too big or doesn't too small or I don't like it or whatever. You can pick your own size so you know it's going to fit you. Um, and you can also get a 19, for $19.99, oh, these are for the 20 ounces. I'm just reading you the 20 ounces, guys. For $19.99, you can get a candle with no ring. So, like, if you're not interested in the jewelry part of it, that's cool because she has awesome wax regardless. So, she has cheaper options also if you don't want a ring or a pendant or earrings or anything like that. But, um, like I said, she just got, you guys have to check out www dot fireblinkcandles.com because her website just is so much fun to navigate. It's just really, really cool. Okay, so I did, let me see, what did I do already? I did Paris Twilight. So my other destination scent was Tuscan Nights. And this one is described as, and here it is right here. Tuscan Nights. It's a nice blue color. It's like a dusky blue. It's really, really nice. Um, this is described as top notes of fresh green vine, citrus, and rosemary, middle notes of ripened melon, and an ozon wait, ozonic base. Ozonic. Like ozone, like the ozone, ozonic base with bottom notes of wood, patchouli, and lavender. Now, I really wish, I've seen this so many times on other sites, Ozonic, Ozonic, I don't even know how to pronounce, you know, the Ozone, I'm suggesting it's, I guess it's Ozonic, but I don't know what that means. What does the Ozone smell like? I mean, I guess it depends on where you are, right? Like, if you're in LA, it smells like smog. I don't know. I have no idea whatsoever what the Ozone smells like, so I'm not quite sure what that means, but that's what it says. So... This is Tuscan Nights, and I picked this one, of course, because Tuscany, I want to go there. I'm Italian, and oh my God. this is amazing. This is, this is, okay, my favorite scent from her is Black Canyon, but this is probably tied as of now. This is a very green scent, which I love. Um, I'm not getting a lot of melon right now, but like I said, these are soy. I let my soy cure for a long time, for like weeks. Um, sometimes a month, depending on how much I have, what the deal is. But, um, so I'll definitely let these cure. But again, here, I'll pull it out, just so you can see. Again, this thing is really big. And... Like I said, five ounces. So, I mean, this is awesome. Because I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I'm only going to get one use out of this or whatever. I can't stop smelling this. This is so good. I'm mostly catching the fresh green vine. But it is so great. And I'm catching some of the rosemary, too. I'm not getting the citrus. And I normally don't do melon scents, um, just because I have an allergy to melon, and so I don't know. 
Like, now I touched it. Am I going to have a rash or something? I don't know. I don't know. I doubt it, but whatever. I'm a little OCD like that. So I normally don't. I love the smell of melon, but I don't know if something will happen to me if I sniff it. I have no idea. Probably not. Like I said, paranoia, paranoia sets in. Okay. And here we go again. Look at Look how like this is not going anywhere. This is awesome. Love those things. Um, okay, so the next one that I picked was Tahitian Village. Because who does not want to go to Tahiti? I do. I absolutely do. Um, so Tahitian Village is... Okay, and it's got... It's a wonderful, the picture is a shot of palm trees with the sunset and the ocean, and it's just awesome. Um, escape to a welcoming hammock, gently lulled by the sound of rolling waves and the aroma of sweet coconut, a warm blend of bergamot, which I found out is a type of grape, I believe. I believe. Chelsea? Huh. Bergamot? get to it okay it's b-e-r-g-a-m-o-t i believe it's some sort of grape am i correct orange it's an orange or fragrant fruit the size of an orange fragrant fruit the size of, if you can you can probably hear her but fragrant fruit the size of an orange so i was so off it's not a berry whatsoever um and i don't like bing by the way i like when you google better it's no, it doesn't. It's so more descriptive when you Google. It's a citrus, either way. It's a citrus scent. Um, so the warm blend of bergamot and coriander seed fuses with the hearty oak notes of patchouli to surround you with a robust, welcoming scent. White vanilla musk and hints of irresistible caramel encapsulate the intriguing aromas of smoky wood and leaves to present a truly mem memorable fragrance. Now these. Scent descriptions are just amazing. Love it. Um, so, take this one out. Oh, and this is nice. This is really nice. I don't... I'm definitely catching the caramel. And the musk. The vanilla. The vanilla. Um, I'm not catching any of the citrus yet. And coconut is always hard for me, too. I don't know what coriander seeds smell like, so I can't tell you that, but this is amazing, <clears throat> too. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing. So I picked the three destination scents, and I love them. Um, and like I said, these bricks are just right up my... We were making jokes all the time. We were making jokes before she came out with it. She's like, she says to me, oh, do you think anybody would be interested in a five-ounce wax brick and I'm like hello me like duh she's like well yeah I know besides you and I was like, I'm the only one who counts what do you care about anybody else but um these these things are awesome these clips are awesome if you ask me how they were Cody they're awesome love them um so like I said you know you pay let me see let me see if there's a price here on how much these are by themselves. Ooh, my nose is itchy. Um, <clears throat> how are they by themselves? How much are they for like one of these suckers? Mm -hmm. One of these is six dollars, five ninety nine. So bye, Bry. Brian was the genius who fixed my computer today, guys. And made my webcam work. Oh my god, I was so excited. But he was really a jerk about it because he teased me. I, I kept getting this error message, right? And I wouldn't look. So when we got to that step, I like refused to look. And he was like, oh! And I was like, oh crap. And I looked and it was fine. So I, I punched him a few times. But it was all good. So thanks, Bri. Um... Yeah, so these are six bucks. So I mean, this is absolutely worth six bucks, guys. You're getting, I mean, like I said, depending on the size of your warmer, especially, you're getting 
Oh my god, I can't even imagine how many how many uses you're getting out of this. To be honest with you, I really couldn't even once I once I burn it, I'll let you know. But this is the scent that she picked for me. She said you have to have this scent. It's called Beach Daisies. She goes, it's right up your alley. And I'm going, daisies? Like, really? Do I look like a daisy kind of person? I don't know. Um, but this is the description. It says, I just want to make sure I'm still in frame here. It says, imagine a day at the beach surrounded by sun, sand, and beautiful beach daisy flowers. This fragrance is complex yet soothing and playful, blended with Asian lemongrass, dune grass, daisy petals, gardenia bloom, Lang Lang, I'm assuming that's Lang Lang. People want to say, Ya Lang, Ya Lang. I think that's a song, though. Lang Lang, Clove Leaf, Blonde Woods, Amber Sands, and Sheer Musk. This fantastic fragrance is inviting and uplifting. Well, just by reading this description, there's nothing in this description that I don't like. Like I said, the daisies, I might be a little like, but it's there's so many other things in this. And she was right. This is amazing. Oh my god. This is, okay. I'm not a big floral person, as everybody knows. And I know I look I'm not looking straight into the camera, guys, and I apologize. Um I feel like I'm I'm looking at the screen, so I feel like I'm looking right at the camera, but I know I'd have to move it over to the middle. But I'm not a big floral person. I can usually take them or leave them, and if they're really grandma floral scents, forget it. I'm like, no. If you smell like my grandmother, God rest her soul, because, you know, then uh, it's just not going to work for me. But this is really nice. I mean, it's definitely floral, but it's so much more than a floral. It... Oh, my God. I mean, I catch... The daisies, definitely. And you know you know what? To be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. Daisies are nice. Daisies smell nice. Oh, no, my hands smell so nice. Daisies smell nice. Daisies are nice, like a nice light flower. It's not like one of those overpowering kind of flowers. But, um, but everything else blended into this. Like I said, when, when I love complex fragrances. I love exotic fragrances, complex fragrances. Um, so she was right. Cody, you were right. You know me, girl. Like, this is right up my alley. I can't... Guys, okay, everything I... Every time I touch it, right, I talk about these clips. I'm sorry. This is just the coolest thing. It's just... It's awesome. Um, okay. So, that is what I got. Um, oh, that's not all I got. She also gave me a free gift. She gave me a free clamshell. This is going to focus. To the middle. Come on, it focuses so. There we go. I have to be right in front of it, but it's um, Moonlight Path, and it's a clamshell. So everybody knows who clamshells are the six, or sometimes there's more than six, but anyway, um, has the six cubes in here. Now I'll probably throw four of these in my melter, and then I don't know what I'll do with the last two. Maybe if I get it like a little teeny melter or something or whatever. But um, that's why I normally don't buy them in these, just because. I would need like eight, so I can do four and four. If they had eight count clamshells, I would buy them. I'd be all down with that. But this is, let me open it without breaking it. This was the free gift she sent me. Now this is really cool. So she wasn't like chintzy. Oh, this is really nice too. Okay, let me get the scent description on here. Guys, let me see, because I have it up here. Okay, Moonlight Path, and this like again, the picture is just so cool. It's the moon at night with, you know, the sky, the skyline, and it's rising above the horizon of the ocean, if that makes sense to you guys, with stars in the background. I mean, these pictures are just amazing. This is a sensual fragrance infused with lavender, violets, and light musk. Now, because I'm a musk person, I would be like, okay, yay. But this is really, you know, but if I read, this is not something I would pick for myself. Because if I read Lavender and Violet, I would go, ugh, no. 
too floral for me, but this is really nice. I mean, it is it is on the floral side, I'm going to admit. It, it is floral, but it's not like grandma-y floral. I mean, there's a lot of florals that I've smelled that I'm just like, I think that's what turned me off is that there's a lot that I've smelled that I'm like, ugh, you know, it's just too perfumey kind of grandma Gina Tay. Oh, and like I said before, guys, don't ever make a Gina Tay scent. I know they've come out with bacon. Um, some people have talked about gasoline scents, um, burnt rubber. You know what, guys? I'm all for the exotic and all that other stuff, but you guys can keep those. That's fine. And don't add Gina Tay to the list. I mean, if you want to, you can. I'm not buying it. I mean, my grandmother used to wear it all the time. And like I said, love grams. And it brings back memories. But, you know, she had the the powder and the body lotion and the body splash and the perfume. And it was like Gina Tay overload. Oh, you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Everyone's so young. I'm just so over the hill. Everybody probably don't even, they're like, what's Gina Tay? I mean, do they even carry it? At Walgreens or CVS anymore? I don't know. So I'm totally dating myself right now. But this is really nice. This is a nice scent. Um, it is nice. I mean, it's nice. Like I said, it's floral, but it's nice. It's not, you know, it's not too, it's not too floral for me. Um, I may pop a couple cubes in and just give it a shot. Okay. Now, I'm going to show, okay, first of all, just to end this. Oh, my God. My finger swelled today. I'm not going to be able to get it off. Oh, this is awful. Oh, I got it. Okay. This is my precious. Now, I have to tell you, um, like I said, when I got this, absolutely gorgeous piece. It was just so amazing. And I saw it, and I had to have it. And I told her the meaning behind it. And what it, it, this stone actually helps with my anxiety and panic. Um, all the stones I wear, you'll see in my videos. This is Laramar. And I also have descriptions, stone descriptions. If you ever want to know what a stone means or what it's supposed to help you with, um, this is Laramar. I have a special, this bracelet right here is Charite and Amethyst. That also helps with panic and anxiety. Um... But this is, I don't think I'm going to say this right, because this was a really hard, but it was perfect for me. And I, um, I'll put the scent, I'm not the scent description, the description of the stone below so you know what it helps with, just so you know. And um, I have a lot of panic and anxiety issues, but this, look at this. Oh my God. Okay, now I really want this to zoom in. Please zoom in. Please. Where do I have to hold it? We're going to absolutely zoom in on it. I'm assuming that would be in front of my face. Come on, zoom. Oh, because you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, wait. Wait. I'm like, wait for it. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the colors in there. The blues, the greens. My hand isn't still. That's why it's not really. There we go. That is amazing. That is just amazing. And then if you look at the side, look at the scrolling. Kind of like filigree setting scrolling on this. Come on. Zoom up, baby. Do it. Do it for mama. There we go. Look at that. It is just amazing. It is gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I gave her a choice of the kind of, like, I think it was like three different stones that I wanted. And I said, this, okay. It's, it's Chrysola, Chrys Chrysola, or Chrysola. Chrysocola. Chrysocola is what it is. No, why did that do that? Yeah, it has to do with my mouse. When I move my mouse, then it, it comes back. Um, Chrysocola. And it is a big, it was big, it's a big Native American stone. 
But anyway, I will put what it means below and what it helps you with and everything like that. And if you join our Candles Anonymous group, we also have a document that um, I've created since I'm big into, like I said, this these, these stones. They all help me with something different. Um, the, even this one is, this is actually from the Vampire Diaries. It's Damon's um, Daywalker ring. But it's made of sterling silver and lapis lazuli. And lapis is also a very calming stone. So all the stones kind of that I wear are very calming, you know. Um, but anyway, okay, so that was my precious. And like I said, I gave her like my first and second choice of stones, and she went out and found it for me. Like, this is a really rare stone, guys, and it's not cheap. They don't mine these anymore, so it, it, it's, it's amazing. Cody... I love you. Love you, love you, love you. I mean, she is just absolutely a doll. Um, so, okay. The newest, coolest thing on the market right now is Scoopables. Right, guys? Um, if you haven't heard of Scoopables, it's a lot of different companies have them. Um, it is Scoopable Wax that you just scoop out into your warmer. You can supposedly... Um, Amp the scent up, lower it down. If you want a little scent, put in a little. If you want a lot of scent, put in a lot kind of thing. Um, sometimes it's called whipped wax. Sometimes it's called, uh, one company I think calls it gelato. Um, now this is right here is, oops, I will show you hopefully because this is very reflective. There we go. Scoopable Melters from Fireblend Candles. This is brownie birthday cake. Now this is a tester, guys. So this I don't I'm don't think this is not going to be her final product. I don't believe, but oh, holy moly, brownie birthday cake. Um so I don't think if you look on her site you're going to be able to find brownie birthday cake. Oh, but this is so good. Oh my god. She's like, "How about brownie birthday?" I'm like, "Ah, you know me, girl. Anything chocolate, I'm down for." This is amazing. Now, I actually have had this burning in my 18-watt electric all day. And what I have to say about it is that it was light. It was it was really nice scent, but it was light. Now, obviously, she, she suggests curing these, but I really wanted to see. How, I didn't want to wait. So I was like, okay, I'll throw some in and, you know, see how I like it this just now you know I know when I cure this it's going to be amazing now if you look in here it, it looked so cute I ripped it up guys with my ice cream scooper now I scooped this out with a metal ice cream scooper um so this she hasn't added anything to this as far as um softeners or anything like that I know a lot of companies do add softeners oh this smells so good so this is just a hundred percent soy um the, that's part of the testing phase. Um, I had, did I have trouble? Um, okay, a lot of people include like a plastic spoon. I think a plastic spoon would definitely break. This is definitely in between like a whipped wax, which is supposed to be like soft butter, and a regular candle, which you'd have to, you know, chop at to, um, to get it out. Well, like I said, I used a metal um, ice cream scooper and put it in my warmer and it's been going all day um, in an 18 watt and I can still smell it. And like I said, it's not like in like on cold throw. This is in my face. Like this is like, whoo, I can, I can actually smell this through the tin. I can actually smell it through the tin and it comes in these little tins which I don't know for sure if this is going to be, you know, like I said, the final product. I was so mad because you could look at, see mine's dented. My, I heard this arrive on my doorstep because my mailman decided to throw it into my door. Like, you know, open screen, chuck it and shut the screen. I was like so mad. I'm like, are you for real, dude? Like, really? So this was done in transit so um you know she didn't send this to me like this this was done in transit. i heard this 
Ugh, I was so mad. Obviously, it has no effect on, you know, any of it. And when this is re redone, I would be more than happy to send this tin back to Cody just because I'm really big into reusing, recycling, repurposing. I would be more than happy to send this back to Cody and either get more scoopable in here um, or if she chose to use this again for another candle. I'm all about that with any company that sends me some, you know, a container. I'm all about, I'll send it back to you so you can use it again. Um, I mean, obviously, probably not this one. This would just be for me because it's done, because, you know, Mr. Mailman, ugh, whatever. Mr. Mailman dented it all up. But, I mean, if it wasn't dented or anything like that, you know what? Like I said, I would send it back and when, when I was done with the product and have her refill. But I will probably do it, do it anyway, have her refill. Because I think Scoopables is going to be on the website, guys. But it's not yet. Um, so, cold throw, amazing. Hot throw, um, right now, not too strong. Um, like I said, it's in my 18 watt because Scoopables are softer. So, it took, it took a little while to melt. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, I'm kind of new to the 18 watts. Um, because I've always done the 24 watt um, electrics, the hot plates. Um, so I'm new to the 18 watts, but I've heard that you know a lot of the 24s can just, you know, it's it's like in your face at first, but it only lasts a while. So like I said, that's been going all day. So that's been going about eight hours now, and I can still smell it, and it smells really yummy. Like about two hours ago, like the first two hours, I didn't really smell too much, and then. Like, the next four hours, it just smelled divine. And, like, these last two hours, I can still smell it. It's just kind of lingering. It's just not all that, um, what you call it, strong. But the scent itself is strong on cold throw. So I'm sure once I let this cure, which I'm going to now, um, even though, like I said, look at it, I took, take, took a whole chunk out of it. I put so much in my warmer. But um, this thing smells so good. It smells just like brownies. Like you could just eat this. But, um, and it's such a beautiful blue, dusky blue color. I love this dusky blue color. Um, now, like I said, as far as consistency, I think using my, um, what you call it, metal ice cream scooper works great. You know, adding a plastic spoon with this, I think, would not work. If it was maybe a wooden spoon, yes. A plastic spoon would not work. Um, it would. I think it would break. That's just my honest opinion. I think it would break. I think it's too hard. Um, I I did another review on Scoopables for another person, and her wax was actually paraffin as opposed to soy, but her wax was also very. Um, it was pretty hard. I guess with Scoopables, I'm expecting the soft butter consistency. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Um, but, so it does get kind of a little messy. It stuck a little bit to my um, scooper. I had to kind of, you know, get all the wax off because, you know, I don't want to waste anything. Um, but I love it. I really do. I mean, you know, if they're reasonably priced, and I'm not sure how much these are going to go for. Um, I, like I said, tester, guys, it's a tester, it's a tester. So, like, don't be like, oh, okay, well, I'm not getting that or... Whatever. I mean, she's always improving. She just wants our input. So this is my input. Um, um, so I don't know how much these will go for or if they'll even come in maybe bigger containers. I don't know because I would like a bigger container than this at, for the final product. But, you know, maybe then I'll have to order two or three, whatever. Um, but it's great. And it's, you know, what I think it's great, too, is to try a scent, especially, like I said, when when people just throw me these, here, try my scent, and they throw me these, like, four teeny-weeny little cubes, or these four teeny-weeny little hearts, or whatever. I mean, and I'm not even getting a half-inch wax pool in my melter, well, then I can't really test your scent, because, you know, I'm not getting, I'm not getting the throw that I need to get to test it. So, just so people are aware, like, anybody wants me to test their stuff, I'm more than willing, and I would love to, and if I don't, test it or you don't see your video 
it's because I was unable to, because you just didn't give me enough wax to test with. Um, so, um, that's all. And I guess I'm not asking for a huge amount. I just need, you know, I mean, I need a pretty decent chunk just because my, my warmers, like I said, they're, they're bigger, bold warmers. And, um, but anyway, that is it for fire blink candles, guys. And like I said, here, do, do, do. Fire Bling Candles, www.fireblingcandles.com. There is nothing bad that I can say about this company. There is nothing bad. Like I said, you get your own ring. I mean, your ring, you get ring, earring, pendants, your choice. Um, you know, more of the costumey bling bling kind of thing. Natural stones like I wear. Um, more premium stones. Um, pick your own size. Guys, pick your own size. Um, her scents are just, I mean, since the last time I was on her website, she's added so many. They're awesome. Um, nothing bad that I can say. Love the website. Love navigating the website. This website's just fun. It's fun. I love it. Um, I, I don't, like I said, nothing else I can say. Anybody else has questions? Post them below. I always answer. Um, like I said, or you can find me on, in Candles Anonymous. Um, feel free to join. I'll post a link below. Um, you can find me in there. And that's it for Fire Blink Candles. And Cody, love you. Love my precious. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing. They also call these Apache Tears. So for it to be a teardrop shape is just... I, I just can't even say enough. I, I really can't. It's just, like I said... This never comes off my body. This now is never going to come off my body. I mean, it, it's just, I don't wear a ton of jewelry. Look at, look at me. I don't wear a ton of jewelry. I have all, I have all these bracelets on and everything like that. I, but I'm not, I don't change my jewelry. Let's put it that way. I wear special pieces and they stay with me at all times. So anyway, fire bling candles, guys. Highly, highly recommend. So check them out. Check her out. Check them out. Love you, Cody. I'm out. And this is my new look, my new webcam. I noticed the, the color kind of going in and out, whatever, with different shades and whatever. So far, I'm loving it. So anyway, this will be posted very soon. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Good night.